Have you ever wondered why Venus, orbiting nearly twice as far from the Sun as Mercury, ends up being hotter? It all comes down to how each world holds on to the Sun's energy. Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun, bakes at more than 430 degrees Celsius by day and then plunges to minus 180 degrees at night because it has almost no atmosphere to trap in heat. Mercury's surface gets scorched by sunlight, but the warmth radiates straight back into space rather quickly with nothing to trap it. Venus, on the other hand, holds a steady 464 degrees Celsius across every inch of its surface. Data from NASA missions show its atmosphere exerts a crushing 92 bar of pressure, meaning the pressure on the surface would be 92 times greater than at sea level on Earth. This crushing atmosphere is composed of around 96.5% carbon dioxide. Sunlight sails through the thick clouds, warming the ground. But when the surface tries to send infrared energy back out, the dense carbon dioxide blanket absorbs and re-emits it instead of letting it escape back into space. Even though these clouds reflect about 95% of incoming sunlight, their greenhouse power far outweighs what it reflects. Fierce winds also race around Venus, spreading heat so evenly that day and night temperatures are almost identical. This raging inferno makes Venus a natural laboratory for studying a runaway greenhouse effect. If a planet so close to our very own doorstep can boil itself dry, what does that mean for our own world? Could Earth ever follow in Venus's footsteps? Share your thoughts below. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to show your support by hitting the like button, leaving a comment, or by sharing this video with other curious minds. These small actions truly help a great deal, and I appreciate it very much. If you'd like to join me on more adventures through the cosmos, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss the next one. Until then, my friends, take care and be well.